In an unprecedented revelation, Apple is poised to change the tech world with a game-changing attack on AI. While the tech giant has traditionally been more insightful in this area than industry leaders like Google and Microsoft, its new commitment to generative AI heralds a monumental change. Today, we explore the transformative potential of Apple's AI system and how technology shapes the future, which will never be the same. In a world pushed by technological advancements, Apple Inc. has long remained a prominent player, heralding innovation and redefining the limits of opportunity. With a terrific absence from the AI panorama in comparison to enterprise giants like Google and Microsoft, the Cupertino-based tech giant is now making waves with a groundbreaking flow. In a recent revelation, Apple unveiled its plans to combine generative AI throughout its complete surroundings, an improvement that guarantees to reshape the panorama of synthetic intelligence and tech. As the business enterprise commits a superb $1 billion yearly to this undertaking, it underscores Apple's unwavering willpower to regain its pole position in the AI race. Behind this bold mission are three key executives. John G. N. Andrea, overseeing the center generation for AI. Craig Federighi, who specializes in the integration of AI capabilities into the iOS running system. And Eddie Q, responsible for enhancing numerous packages with AI skills. This multi-pronged approach is ready to usher in a new era of user experience. For Apple users, this marks a promise of exciting new features and improvements to their favorite apps. Siri, Apple's iconic voice assistant, is poised to become smarter and more conversational by delivering natural and personal feedback. Current messaging apps benefit from generative AI's suggestive capabilities, creating personalized emoji stickers based on users' expression preferences. Apple Music can actually curate playlists, adjusting for users' moods and music choices. In addition to these key applications, generative AI can extend its transformative power to Apple's software offerings to change the way users interact with Pages, Keynote, Xcode, and customer service applications. However, the use of generative AI comes with important considerations. Apple's commitment to user privacy and security is well known, and these standards can guide the approach. The industry struggles between automated AI that processes data locally and cloud-based AI that relies on remote servers. While on-device AI protects privacy and saves resources, cloud-based AI boasts more power and faster updates but raises data exchange and security concerns. Apple has always been characterized by delivering polished technology rather than being first to market, and its foray into AI-enabled action is no exception. Focusing on delivering an unparalleled user experience while protecting privacy and security, the tech giant is poised to make a lasting impact. While not a pioneer in this space, Apple's offering could be the gold standard when it finally shows up. As Apple embarks on this transformative journey in AI, the tech world waits with bated breath to see how this seismic shift will redefine the company's products and services and reaffirm its commitment to delivering new and superior emphasis. This video will delve into the nuances of Apple's generative AI strategy, exploring the potential implications, user experience, and privacy concerns that accompany this breakthrough. With a legacy of industry benchmarking, Apple's entry into AI promises to be a turning point. It will form the technology future. Apple's strategic shift towards generative AI is poised to reshape the tech industry. Now, the once prudent tech giant is stepping onto the stage with industry leaders like Google and Microsoft. As Apple provides the necessary resources for this effort, it underscores the company's commitment to returning to prominence in AI. In an environment saturated with AI advancements, Apple's approach to generative AI has been the subject of much speculation. Over the year, it has become clear that Apple's internal discussions are in disarray as the company grapples with the best way to move into the generative AI space. Reports have emerged of Apple's commitment to training and AI modeling in various fields while internal tests are in progress. But they rarely take a clear-cut approach, perhaps because of Apple's unique approach to privacy and data. Privacy and data protection have become hallmarks of Apple's philosophy, setting Apple apart from its competitors. The company is known for its preference for direct software deployment on its devices, avoiding heavy reliance on cloud-based solutions. This approach is consistent with its strict privacy policy, as most data remains on the device, protecting users' personal information. However, the cutting-edge panorama of massive language models has posed demanding situations to Apple's inclination for on-device AI. The sheer computational necessities of LLMs often necessitate cloud-based total processing that may leverage large server sources to deliver effective AI skills. The decision lies in finding a harmonious balance between retaining user privacy and presenting modern-day AI features. Reports from the information suggest that Apple's course has started to crystallize, with a good-sized financial dedication dedicated to AI model training. 
This monetary outlay signifies Apple's gradual progress towards a greater suggested position inside the generative AI landscape. The latest analysis with the aid of delivery chain analyst Jeff Pu indicates that generative AI features can also make their debut as quickly as iOS 18, predicted to be overdue in 2024. This indicates that Apple's explorations in AI are moving beyond experimental tiers into a concrete development roadmap. Apple's foray into generative AI is led by three key executives, each of whom oversees a key part of the company's AI strategy. John Gianandria, Apple's head of machine learning and AI strategy, has been tasked with developing the core AI technology. His team is working to enhance Apple's digital assistant, Siri, to provide intelligent and conversational responses. Apple's head of software engineering, Craig Federighi, is pioneering the integration of AI features into the iOS operating system. His team is critical to ensuring that AI integrates seamlessly with apps, including Siri and messaging. Eddie Q, head of internet software operations, leads a team focused on embedding AI capabilities into apps like Apple Music, Pages, Keynote, and customer service applications with the goal of providing users with experience with a wide variety of Apple software offerings. For Apple users, the upcoming generative AI holds the promise of exciting new features and improvements to their favorite apps and services that are already powered by AI, and machine learning is set to make Siri even smarter. It has been a conversation. AI-enabled hybrid delivery could enable Siri to provide more natural and personalized content, expanding its usefulness across a variety of contexts. In the realm of messaging apps, Generative AI could prove revolutionary by crafting personalized stickers and emojis based on potential responses and user expression preferences. Apple Music, the company's music streaming platform, is generative for automatic playlist curation. Taking into account users' historical music choices, and now the concept is ready to use AI. Generative AI is not limited to specific applications. It can enhance a wide range of Apple software, including Pages, Keynote, Xcode, and customer service applications. The integration of AI into these platforms can open up new avenues of interaction and user experience. As Apple makes progress on its generative AI strategy, the company faces an important decision regarding its AI implementation strategy. There are two main options to consider, on-device AI and cloud-based AI. In-device AI requires AI functionality to be processed directly on the user's device, which provides benefits such as improved privacy, data security, reduced data usage, and longer battery life but may restrict the hardware capabilities of the device. In contrast, cloud-based AI relies on remote servers to process the AI, allowing for more powerful processing and faster innovation. This approach offers flexibility and scalability, but raises questions about data privacy and security, as well as increased data usage and energy consumption. Apple's commitment to user privacy and security has led the company to favor on-device AI over many of its current AI products. However, Dynamic AI may require a hybrid approach that combines the strengths of machine-based AI while addressing potential shortcomings. Apple has a good reputation for introducing products later than its competitors, but with higher quality and better design. This tradition of excellence extends to generative AI. While Apple may not be the first to launch an AI product enabler, it wants to deliver a solution that stands as the standard for quality, innovation, and user experience. The tech world is eagerly awaiting Apple's transformational foray into generative AI, a move that promises to redefine the boundaries of technology and user interaction as Apple's journey continues and is shaping up to be a pivotal moment in AI development and integration in our everyday lives. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment section below and before you leave, please make sure to hit that like button. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Catch you next time. Bye!